Welcome to this Ask an Expert video from Meco Graphics. In this video, I'll share some of the questions people are submitting to our charting experts. Today's topic is how to deal with large data sets or too much data. Here's a recent question. When I make a line chart with a lot of data points, how do I only show a subset of data labels on the x-axis? A common example of this is daily stock prices. I have the daily stock price data for Apple and Microsoft in this Excel worksheet. I'm going to select that data, choose Chart and PowerPoint from the Macro Graphics ribbon, and select Line Chart. Then I'm going to drop this line chart into my PowerPoint slide. First thing I'm going to do is fix my data structure. So if I click on Switch Bars and Series, you'll see that the line chart is starting to take shape. And now I'm going to deal with the issue of all of the labels on the x-axis. So to do that, I click on Bars and Series, and on the Bars tab, I can choose to show every nth bar label. So just put a value in here. I'm going to choose 25. And there's your chart. I wanted to show you a couple of other examples. In this chart, we're showing pedestrian fatality rates for different cities and comparing them in a bar meco chart. When I open up the chart data, you can see that I have more than 30 different cities in the data sheet. You can't really show that many cities cleanly on the chart. So, go back to Bars and Series, and you can see I can select, or deselect rather, the cities that I don't want to show on the chart. So in this case, we only chose to show 10 cities to make the chart more readable. You can do this with any data set. You can bring in a large number of series and then using bars and series go in and deselect the ones that you do not want to appear on the chart. One other way to deal with too much data is to create another series. In this Merameco chart you can see that we've summarized small series in the chart into an other category and we did that automatically using the Meco Graphics software. So under bars and series, under the options tab for series, you'll see that we created an other series and then you can either manually select which series you want to include in other or you can add a value in this field and include all series that are smaller than a certain size. Another option is to manually create an other series in this example in a stacked bar chart and then explode that other series into a secondary bar. So let's look at the data for this chart. You can see that this is a manual other series and then we have a second bar which has the segments for that other series. This allows you to show the growth rates for the components of the other series compared to the overall segments for the category. Thank you for watching this Ask an Expert video from Meco Graphics.